came out here to learn about the watershed. And it's important that we give back. A decade of the Children's Water Festival, WSSC's way of giving back. That's starting up. Held each year in May, some 700 fourth graders over the course of two days look, listen, learn, laugh, and the best part. I like how you can touch the animals. I learned a lot about fish and animals and all other cool things like that. Every activity here, if you pull it, it's related to water in some type of way and it's related back to the environment. And the big message is taking care of the environment because if we don't, if we trash it, if they trash it, we won't have an environment. A dozen different stations strategically placed around the picturesque Brighton Dam. 1% of the water that we have in the earth is known as fresh water that we can drink. I think all the activities send a powerful message to them. Whether in the form of a game, like the Bucket Brigade. This is 70 gallons that they're transporting. One person uses 70 gallons of water per day. We break that down to them and we give them some questions on water conservation. The kids get it. We can't just make more water. A normal person uses 70 gallons a day. I'm going to start saving and reducing water. We're going to take the fish that are on the back of these vests and we're going to talk about what's actually on them. It can be anywhere from motor oil, antifreeze. When you um, get to do it hands-on, you actually know how it affects than just hearing it over from somebody else. May 6 and 7, officially proclaimed as WSSC's Children's Water Festival Days in both Montgomery and Prince George's counties. This after 10 years of the festival and 5,700 students enjoying hands-on experiences with all things water, leaving a lasting impression on our next generation. If I ever see someone littering or dropping something that they know they shouldn't, I would probably pick it up, throw it away and tell them, or put it somewhere that it needs to be and tell them what they did was wrong. They learn new things and they get hands-on experience and they get to, you know, see how the things they use get to them. Awesome. The kids are so engaged. They love nature. Everything is so interactive. There's so much learning going on. What's a female do? <laughs> Just like turtles, they leave their eggs and the little guys have to find their way back when they hatch. So that's the way they mate? That's the way they mate. Well, not Horseshoe crabs, turtles, and even snakes, the real thing, up close and personal. Oh, right there. <laughs> Prince George's County Executive Rashern Baker opted to keep his distance from the snakes, but couldn't get enough of the other lessons and some time with his youngest constituents. This is terrific. I mean, what a great opportunity for our kids to learn about not just the water that they drink and they use in their household, but the nature and everything that goes with it, how important this dam is, how important the environment is. I mean, it's a great hands-on learning tool for our children. All the water on planet Earth. Fox 5 meteorologist Mike Thomas shared some water wisdom with the students during lunch, and the day wrapped up with a big test. Always a hit, the hydrologic game. A Jeopardy-style quiz lets the kids proudly show off all the knowledge they've soaked up. I, I applaud WSSC for doing this. This is a great community benefit. A perfect choice. The students are so engaged. Um, the staff are really knowledgeable. It's been an excellent experience. 